The engineers are an ancient extraterrestrial species of unknown origin. They possess highly advanced technology and have special interests in genetic engineering. They are believed to travel entire galaxies with the purpose of creating life and even destroying life. Even though they are seen as gods, they are shown to be mortal beings that can still be injured and die. Now early stories show they are even willing to sacrifice their own people in an attempt in spreading their DNA across a planet to create microorganisms. Although the name Engineer is not their official name, it was given to them by Elizabeth Shaw in the movie Prometheus because of their ability to engineer and create life forms. Now other names given to them are Pilots, Space Jockey, Oceans, or Malakok. Even though they are extraterrestrials, they are known to still require oxygen to breathe like humans. They were shown to have extreme amounts of physical strength, as it sent Mr. Whalen's security team flying across the room. Their bio suit seems to act like body armor, as it was shown to be very resilient to firearms. Now over time, they saw humans evolve through their culture and technology. The engineers noticed the human race has become violent, hateful, and dangerous at times. At some point, the engineers thought of giving the humans one last chance to change their ways. They decided to send down one of their people in hopes of putting the humans back on track. They wanted the humans to live in peace without waging war against each other. They saw humans as misbehaving children. The person they sent down was Jesus, indicating he was an engineer. Jesus was sent down to earth and brought the message of peace. Now some humans ended up rejecting his message and crucified him. This act angered the engineers and led to their decision to wipe out the human race. The engineers intended to transport the black goo to earth, but before they could do that, the weapon cargo escapes and an outbreak occurs on their ship. Many engineers died, but one of them survived and put himself into hypersleep. The weapon cargo is known to include the black goo accelerant and also xenomorph eggs that are held in stasis beneath a blue electrical mist. Now, in the distant future, around 2,000 years later, humans aboard the ship Prometheus located this moon and found the surviving engineer along with some deceased ones. Through some DNA testing, they found their genetic makeup predates the humans and are the same, meaning the engineers created the humans. This then leads to Mr. Wayland, along with David and his security team, awakening the last surviving engineer. Upon waking up, the engineer sees the humans have evolved their technology way past their expectations. The engineer was in awe as the humans were even able to create something like David, an android. The engineer noticed that the humans are still visibly violent and dangerous, as he chose to attack them and try to continue his original mission, which was go to Earth and wipe out the human race. Now this information was even backed up by Ridley Scott when he said at one point, the script of Prometheus explicitly spelled this scenario out. Ridley Scott said that was the direction they were taking the story, but only at some point. Now, one theory about this scenario is that humans are seen as failed experiments. Their violent and uncontrollable nature proved to be too dangerous. Our actions alone could have depicted our fate by a higher power unknown to us. We are then seen as disappointments or mistakes in the eyes of the engineers. Now, another theory is that the engineers did not want humans to evolve as much as they had to have the ability to travel to distant planets. If humans were able to acquire the technology from the engineers, they would be even more dangerous to their own race and others. So in an attempt of protecting the human race from their own dangerous nature, they were to be wiped out, which eventually did not happen. Now, the engineers were not always depicted to be this way. A novel by Alan Dean Foster, based off the alien movie in 1979, had the engineers appear physically different and their personality traits were also different. They were described as being noble people that hoped in meeting mankind under pleasant circumstances. So why do you think the engineers wanted to wipe out the human race? If you agree with any of these theories or want to include your own, put it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel to see more future videos around the alien and predator universe. Thanks for watching. My name is Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.